Isidro Uriarte Talavera and the castle's housekeeper are the humans that have transformed into the death-defying, agile, and deadly monsters known as the Verdugos. That's right, no matter how far away from human these things seem to be, they were just like any of us, except Isidro and the housekeeper's stories differ. One Verdugo was outright evil, and the other was forced into the procedure, even defying Lord Ramon many times in the past. Isidro was the mastermind behind heavy plaga experimentation, while the housekeeper, how do I say this, was used as a breeding apparatus. And in the end, both of these individuals can be considered family, though there was hardly any love involved. Family isn't even the correct word to describe their story. You can blame Isidro's insane devotion to breeding new forms of creatures at the expense of various women for this mess. Master Ramon has bestowed upon me a truly righteous undertaking to improve upon the flaws of our human form, to seek perfection as observed in our arthropodal siblings. The womb is the key. I have named these sacred larvae, carried in the wombs of the chosen, you too, after my own. They shall carry the prestige of my family name as if I had spawned them of my own flesh. Master Ramon has recognized my efforts and blessed me with his praise. Isidro was a vile, vile human being, and a pretentious prick. From that excerpt, he makes it seem as though it was all volunteers that went through the procedure. The housekeeper clarifies the actual, horrible treatment of said volunteers. I caught a glimpse of Master Ramon's evil temperament during his younger years. When he discovered a servant mocked him by uttering Pilgarcito behind his back, he summoned her to his private chambers. After forcing her to kneel before him, Ramon doused her face with a vial of vitriol he pulled out of his pocket. The young master watched with glee when the servant writhed in agony as the skin melted from her face. His twisted grin still haunts my dreams to this very day. In both of these memos, you're seeing two very different reactions and emotions. Isidro was passionate about his work, having spawned the Novistadores, and loved the praise of Salazar, while the housekeeper still held some sympathy for the many victims of Ramon, and was afraid of him. Regardless, Isidro was hellbent on pleasing his master, and had his eyes set on, you guessed it, the housekeeper, as the next test subject. The housekeeper has graciously volunteered herself for the experiment. I shall pour my whole heart into this endeavor in order to transcend humanity and make Master Ramon proud. Now some of you may be confused. After hearing her disapproval of the alleged volunteer's treatment and torture, why would the housekeeper volunteer now? Well, she had no choice, no say in the matter. The Los Illuminados had gotten to her mind. Oh, Master Ramon. With tomorrow's procedure, I shall finally surpass the limitations of this mortal shell. What's left of me now shall soon be gone. Magnificent. The holy body is a wondrous miracle. And that may just be the saddest file in the game. Seeing someone's mind turn into mush and utter devout gibberish to some lunatic to Isidro, the evil Verdugo, it didn't really matter. All in a day's work for precious Salazar. A glorious union has been made. The housekeeper has endured much suffering, but not for naught. Behold, the fruits of our labor in all its beauty. My dear Han Pesanta has been chosen to serve as the right hand of Master Ramon, but is to not better than one. Now, it is my turn to demonstrate my loyalty. Now you can start to see where the family conspiracy starts to come into play. Pesanta, the first Verdugo, was born from the womb of the housekeeper, using Isidro's DNA. What we're witnessing, and what I personally would never have guessed, is a family story so wicked, so dark, even for Resident Evil standards. But for Isidro, just being the father of El Verdugo, wasn't enough. He wanted to become one.
Not far from the Verdugo's boss fight lies an unidentified Verdugo in the making. His stale appearance is definitely haunting, knowing he has chosen death for his little cult master. Looking closely at this fucked up scene, the procedure had been stalled due to what appears to be a liquid nitrogen shower malfunction. The showers were actually installed by Isidro himself, except Isidro's procedure carried on, and he successfully became a Verdugo. The process wasn't easy, and as for much of a monster that man was, you'd wish he experienced worse. Upon the release of this valve, black liquid shall enter my veins and circulate throughout my entire body. I expect this will be the most painful experience of my life. I, Isidro Uriarte Talavera, make this vow. I will surpass the limitations of man and become a true servant of God. I will find the heretics and serve as their executioner, their Verdugo. And that is exactly what he became, the Verdugo, the relentless executioner of the Salazar castle. Now there were two to serve his majesty, the Verdugo's experiment child, Pesanta, and Isidro, the father Verdugo. Yeah, that's one messed up father-son duo. The next big question is, which is which? This is where we have to theorize since there is no concrete answer. In my eyes, we have to take into account that Isidro's Verdugo was a transformation of an adult, while Pisanta is essentially a baby. Surely, Isidro is the Verdugo we face in the boss fight, while Pisanta is the one that merges with Salazar. Except, in the Chronicles of Pursuit File 2, it notes that Pisanta is Salazar's right hand. As we all know, Salazar sends his right hand to dispose of Leon. I've sent my right hand to dispose of you. Your right hand comes off? Hmm. Say whatever you please. Die, you worm! So it's quite conflicting. I still think it's Isidro that we face off against. It would be that much more satisfying to put this horrible human into the ground for good. Surely, death was the final fate of Los Verdugos, right? There's been somewhat of a mini-mystery that has taken over the RE fanbase. Everyone wants to know what happened to the second Verdugo. In the original, we clearly see him being merged with Salazar to create the Plaga Queen. In this game, however, there is absolutely no Verdugo to be seen anywhere during Salazar's boss fight. This is still not confirmed, but I believe that the second Verdugo is the child Pisanta. Due to Pisanta being weaker than his father Verdugo, it's very likely that his tasks were to dispose of other individuals. As we all know, there were more than two insurgents in the castle that night, Leon and Ada. We may be seeing more of Pisanta later on, as his fate is just too unclear. Well, what about Verdugo number one? What's more canon, the Verdugo being killed in the boss fight, or the Verdugo being skipped? Now we're headed into some real tinfoil hat territory. Failure to kill Leon is what's canon. Isidro, the father Verdugo, failed his little Lord Salazar in the end. If Leon didn't kill him, Salazar surely did for not being able to stop the rescuing of Baby Eagle. I have no doubt in my mind that Ramon is capable of killing even his most loyal companions. The guy isn't very nice. The person with the more interesting and tragic fates, I believe, is the housekeeper, the mother of Pesanta. I truly think that even in her brainwashed state, even if she had given birth to a monster, that she remained somewhat good. Her final, stable-minded letter to Lord Diego, Ramon Salazar's father, should paint that picture. Lord Diego, rest assured, I intend to watch over Master Ramon until the very end. Whatever fate may befall us. The fresh air is calling our names. Or fin. Gus. Made it all this way. You know it means we're almost... Almost what? <coughs> Luis! <coughs> oh, 
long time no see, okay? Remember, keep your eyes open. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. What did you think of the Verdugo's new updated lore? And would you start a Verdugo family? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more horror lore, lists, and mysteries. Have an awesome rest of your day. And as always, stay single.